but the vast majority of children, we're organizing them by age. That doesn't seem to reflect their cognitive readiness or their academic yeah. readiness. Would you agree with that? I would totally agree. One of the examples that I use when I'm communicating with an audience is that um, when you decide, so I have a fourth grade student, and if I decided, okay, I have a fourth grade student, um, she's going to be nine and uh, or she's going to be 10 in November. So um, I go to um, a website and I say, what's the typical shoe size for a 10 year old? And then I just go buy that shoe size and say, here, this is, this should fit you. And she's like, wait, 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 this is way too big. I've got a tiny foot. And I'm like, well, it doesn't matter. You know, this is what the normal should be. So congratulations. Here's your shoe. Nobody would do that, right? You're going to take shoe that the kid needs and put it on the kid's foot according to their shoe size. Um, and in fact, you're probably going to buy a shoe that's a half size too big so they have room to grow. So if we do that with shoes, why can't we do that with education?